Rolls over, Red Rover, Red Rover, better get your moving for the snow, get colder for your soul, get frozen. Am I supposed to let it go when my hopes get dashed by this bleak weather forecast? All I wanted were some sunny days, but they never seemed to come to me. Tried to get him out his dungarees, never got past having lunch with me. It's just funny how in some degree... Um, so I've been getting some things done this morning. I'm very proud of myself because I woke up feeling very far from productive kind of been the, the mode lately um, but the kids are at their dad's house so I'm able to get a lot more done than I normally would which means I'm also gonna go run some errands I don't feel ex super comfortable taking them to run errands with me like if I have to run to Target or run to the grocery store um, I don't know I'm still just like Ugh. so I usually wait until they're not here to grocery shop and run the errands I need to run because it's just easier for me to wear my mask go in and out get what I need also very hard to take kids places and have and like have them social distance I mean they're very aware and if we go for a walk or whatever they know the deal but I just get kind of in, a little bit of anxiety taking them so anyway I got all of this stuff folded it was literally this chair was overflowing with clean laundry it's very embarrassing to admit but it was overflowing with clean laundry and um, now I just need to put all that away. I'm so happy this finally happens. I had a potential partnership with Whirlpool and long story short, just finally got my appliances. Um, I don't post a lot about my partnerships as far as like the ins and outs. Um, there's a lot of behind the scenes that go on with sponsored things um, and I don't always share that but I think I need to do a bigger job of celebrating myself and sharing when something really cool and big happens because sometimes I just have this weird like I, I, I that's not humble to like talk about something you're excited about and I'm like yeah it is um, there's been some brands like dream partnerships that I've wanted um, Ikea was one and I was able to partner with them and work with them which was really fun and you guys were super supportive Whirlpool reached out at the end of last year and wanted to partner with me and I was like shocked and like really um, So we had a whole thing set and then COVID happened and it just kind of was like this whole thing um, But long story short, I finally got some new appliances um, I got a washer and dryer and a really cool refrigerator and like I just feel very blessed and I just want to say that um, It's okay to celebrate when something good happens. It doesn't mean you're not being humble um, and I don't know why I'm weird about it, but it's just, I'm really excited. So I'm going to show you guys the washer. And I also can actually wash clothes. Like the washer I used to have was like the stackable unit. It was really small. And I'm blaming that on the fact that I can't keep up with laundry. But now I can. So currently drying. So these are full size and they stacked them because this is my washer and dryer situation. It's in this little nook in my off my bedroom um and so yeah i can actually put in an entire full load and it's just a new world to me phone check sunglasses check hand sanitizer check hand sanitizer spray check keys check where's my mask oh check hi can i please get a uh, medium black coffee and that's it thank you Thank you, guys. That's it. Thank you. First window. As bougie as I am with coffee, sometimes I do just get a black coffee from McDonald's. Their coffee's actually really good, and I didn't have any coffee this morning, and I'm just like, I need a coffee. So sometimes I'll just run and get a black coffee. <laughs> I can't be the only one that likes McDonald's coffee. I think it's actually really good. I really do, and I'm very bougie about my coffee. Man. The new normal, it still just doesn't really feel that normal. I stopped to get gas, so I'm just in the car waiting. And yeah, I mean, the social distancing signs are, are everywhere and that's really good and everyone's wearing masks. And it feels kind of normal now because we've been doing it for a while, but then when you sit and think about it, you're like, this is just still really, really bizarre. Oh, <sighs> goodness. Oh. Huh. Wow, I saw someone, I saw something online that was like, taking your face mask off is like the new taking your bra off when you get home, but oh my gosh, or taking your face mask off when you get in the car is like taking your bra off when you get home. Oh my gosh, anyone else have a really hard time breathing in that thing? 
Like I legitimately fell out of breath the whole time and I've tried different ones and they're all just kind of like that, but YOLO, best for safety. So I just got back from Target. I'll show you guys what I got. Um, it was kind of crowded, but thankfully most people were wearing masks and it was still decently good to social distance while there. Um, but I got um, some stuff at Target. Something I have to put together, so here's to hoping that won't take me forever. Um, I want to redo my little laundry area. I'll show you guys later. But because I don't actually have a laundry room, my little laundry area is like right off my bedroom. There's a little hallway there. I want to turn that into like a cute little laundry space. So I got this little shelf that I'll put together and a little rug and some pictures I'm going to hang. So I guess this is turning into like a home decor video. Okay. Are you guys ready? I want to introduce you to a new family member. Um, I can't believe I have not introduced you yet to this family member because this family member is a very, very important part of my life and I am very happy about it. So let me introduce you to Robentino, my new espresso machine. It was a gift from my boyfriend for Mother's Day. It was super sweet um, and I'm obsessed. So this is Robentino. And he has been making me lattes. I'm still learning how to use him, honestly. But I'm getting the hang of it. And I will say, not sponsored, Breville. I have a juicer by Breville and I love it. And I love this. Um, it's really easy to use. It's just great. So I think what I'm figuring out is how to get my espresso to the right ground. Grind, if that makes sense. I'm a bit of a coffee nerd. So... Yeah, I don't want to. I won't nerd out on you because some of you may not care. But let me just say, I'm I'm experimenting with the grind of the of the beans um, because depending on how how fine you grind it or how coarse um, is how your shot will pull. So anyway, good morning. It's a new day. <laughs> Another McDonald's coffee. Apparently, that's just my thing. I'm up before eight. Wow, I'm really proud of myself because these quarantine days I haven't really needed to get up before eight because. Everyone's just at home, so. My neighbor gave me these peonies from his garden and they smell so good and they're so pretty. Literally made my whole entire day or whole entire week. He gave them to me a couple days ago, but. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the before of the little laundry area um, before I do the after. I have to put together the little shelf and some other stuff to go there, but let me show you what it looks like now. Okay. So here's the before. Here is the little shelf. We'll do a quick Target haul. Here's a little shelf I got. This is actually what completely sold me on the laundry area. This picture right here. How cute is that? I was like, oh, that's perfect. Great marketing. Great marketing on that. Okay, so here is what else I got from Target. Um, let me show you the fun stuff. I was in the section that has um, Joanna Gaines, like her I blame Joanna for like half of my money being spent because her little area of home good stuff is so cute. So anyway, I found this little coffee um, jar and I like that it's actually sealed. Um, so if you put your beans in there, they don't go bad, but um, I go through coffee so quickly, I don't really worry too much about it. But yes, so cute. And then because, because I really needed another mug. I, I really have been trying not to buy mugs because I have an obsession with them, but look at this. It says, actually, I can. How cute is that? I got some of these wipes. If you've never tried the um, Neutrogena Pink Grapefruit, it's for acne prone skin and I don't have acne prone skin, but these are just really great refreshing wipes. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, but um, they're, I don't use them to remove makeup or anything. I just... There we go. Um, I like using them just to freshen up. Actually, my boyfriend, he uses these. And he's using them one time and I was like, what are those? And he's like, you want one? And I tried it and I'm like, oh, it feels so good. So he caught me onto these. Oh, I also got this Hearth and Hand, um, the Magnolia Collection candle. Oh, I don't know why I just smelled it. Like as if, I'm smelling it for you guys because you can't smell. It's Cedar Magnolia. It smells so good. I don't know why I'm trying to show you what the front looks like, but yeah. Target, and then I wanted to try this, and I haven't noticed this brand before. I don't even know, Home and Planet, but they have these multi-purpose cleaning sprays, and the scents sound amazing. So this one is coconut water and mimosa flower. Look how cute. And then 
This one is Bulgarian Rose Petal. Um, but I liked that they are plant-based cleansers, pH neutral, vegan, recyclable, alcohol, no alcohol added or bleach, da da da, -da. Hopefully it's actually clean stuff though. <laughs> but the scents sounded really pretty. I can't really smell them. Maybe I'll just spray a little bit of something. <gasps> oh crap, I just sprayed my And here's the after. I like it, I like it. So I added the rug from Target. I added that little rug, and then I really like this little station. I feel like I need to get something on the wall right here, but um, there are my laundry little pods. I thought that was so cute to put in there. A candle, um, the cedar candle I got, and then some flowers. And then I plan to put more in here, but right now it's just a lint roller. And then all of my detergents and things. Um, just kind of organized right there. And this is from Target, in case you're wondering. And yeah, this is just my little laundry corner. So I think it came out really good. I'm actually very impressed. I feel so much more motivated to do my laundry now. Um, side note, if you wonder, can you guys tell? That is lopsided. <laughs> because I put it together wrong but whatever I'm not taking it apart I just messed up like one side of these like I don't know I was not paying attention I'm the queen of putting things together incorrectly but whatever it still rolls so I can roll it from room to room collect the laundry roll it back um, yeah I'm still thinking about putting a plant in the corner but I don't want this little space to be too cluttered so maybe I won't these photos, I actually already had this. It was just in my office on the not put up. I think it's from Ikea. This is from Ikea as well. Um, the prints are both from Ikea and the frames are also from Ikea. So, um, not recent Ikea. Like, from forever ago. Because I don't know if Ikea is currently open. But, I like my little laundry makeover. Here it is from this angle. So there's my closet. <laughs> Don't mind what's going on in there. I'm cleaning things out, but yeah. Um, like this is my bathroom and then you walk through here and you are in the little laundry area. And then there's my closet and then my bedroom's right here. So I like how so it came out. I'm showing the kids my little makeover. <laughs> what do you think? It's amazing. I mean, it's really not that major, but. <laughs> This is the finished coffee corner. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys. I think I showed it on Instagram. I also found these. Okay, so this little Lazy Susan is from Amazon. I'll try to remember to link it. Um, I think it was only like 12 bucks or something. It's pretty inexpensive. And then this is from Target. I showed you guys that already. And then I went back to Target and found these in the dollar spot section. I think they were actually $3. I'm planning to use these for syrups. Um, like when I make my lattes, I'm gonna put vanilla in here and then maybe, I don't know, another flavor in that one. <laughs> but here's the thing, it actually, on this side, so it actually says balsamic vinegar <laughs> on here. I guess that's what these are really for, but they were so cute and they were the perfect size. I just turned them around so you can't see. And that's my little coffee station. Wait, what are you doing? You're asking for more grapes and I have to catch that? Yeah. Are you gonna count me down? Put your camera down. No, I can catch it with my hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I guess you were right. So close. Oh, so close. This kid always asking for more dab. grapes. What? Dab. Did you dab? Yeah. Let me see. Dab. <laughs> On that note, you guys, thank you for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye. Red Rover, Red Rover, Red Rover.